everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Emily and welcome um, today I want to unbox my boxycharm today is the 22nd of March 2019 so this is my March box um, it's here really late but we'll go into that later. If you don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service where you get five to six or four to five, something like that, full-size luxury makeup items a month um, for $21. And I know it recently changed because um, different states, ugh, I'm sorry, I wasn't comfortable, uh, because different states put in place that you need to pay tax. I, I don't know. All I know is I still pay only $21 a month. That includes shipping. Um, and I'm, I'm excited for this one, I suppose. So I'm going to be doing um, an unboxing with you. I'm not going to be doing a try on though, only because maybe I shouldn't talk and try to open this at the same time. I might cut myself. There we go. Only because, um, one, I already have makeup on, and two, because I'm trying to save some makeup and not open it to reach the expiration faster because I have so many products that I already love and I use all of the time. Um, so, yeah. So, without further ado, here's the unboxing. My box, again, this month came perfect. It didn't come smashed or anything like that. I do know um, there's a palette in here and brushes, like makeup brushes, but I don't know anything else. And I know that there is a problem color matching the face palette. So let's hope I get the one that I wanted. Um, this month's theme is La Vie en Rose, and it's French. And I don't even know if I said it right because I can barely master the English language. Um, and all it has is all the products that I get in the box and a description. Um, so the first product that I am pulling out is a Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I am actually very, very excited for this product because Isai and I have been doing a lot of face masks lately. I'm getting old, you guys. I Next month I'm going to be 33 and I... I've recently got into skincare because I've been noticing all my fine lines and wrinkles and laugh lines and some damage on my face. And so I've been trying to take care of my skin a little bit better. Isai, he's 30 years old and he barely looks 18. I don't know how he does it. He just takes really good care of himself, I guess. Um, but he still likes to preserve his beauty, I guess. <laughs> so anyways, I'm very excited for this. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like a full-size product, do you think? I'm not sure. We'll go over the prices at the end. Um, the second product is the brushes that I knew we were getting. Let's see. I'm just going to rip this open. Oh, see? They're pretty. They're, let me see if I can figure out how to open this. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so they're like a pinky, rose, metallic-y color, and I don't know if the light's picking up there. Let's see. There, that's what they look like. They're very, very soft. This would be good for a highlight, I suppose. Um, and this one is really, really soft as well, and it would be good for a um, a powder on your face like a face powder <laughs> um, but those are my new brushes and I love 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 brushes um, this one this little one it seems really soft but I could probably get it at TJ Maxx or Ross I tell you that it, it just seems I don't like the quality of it already and I don't know if it's because it's so light or what I don't know. Oh, my dog's probably going to start barking because weirdo neighbors are home. Um, so the next product I got, this is a really pretty color and I will probably open it, but it's the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Monaco. Um, 
it's like a dusty rose, a darker dusty rose color, I guess. It's really pretty. I like it. I really like it. I've never tried, told you, I never tried Ofra before, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, this one is an appeal liquid eyeshadow, and it's this really pretty metallic gold color. It's definitely sparkly. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm excited for this. I've been practicing um, a lot of cut creases lately and everything like that. I should actually do my makeup one day for you guys. I, When I do these, I, I really just throw makeup on, but be all glamorous and whatnot. But this is so pretty and I am so excited for this. Um, and the last item in here is my Cover FX palette. Um, I could have swore I just saw like foundation or something right here, but it must have just been the light. And moment of truth, I did get the, um, that's strange. Hold on. I did get the color for me, but the mirror, look, it's not even a mirror. It's like weird. So I don't know if that's a sticker. Oh, it is a sticker. Okay. Um, but what really is weird is it didn't have the film over the palette like I'm used to. I have never tried cover effects, but um, this one comes with a highlighter, a contour shade, a blush, another highlighter, a finishing powder, and a brightener. Um, this would be a great palette for on the go. Um, it's called the Perfector Face Palette in Light to Medium. It would be a great travel palette because you have everything that you need in here. All you have to do is take a lip color and a foundation and a mascara and this, and I would be good to go. Um, so that was my last boxy charm. Now I am going to make another video on why I canceled boxy charm, and I might post it up after this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so um, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, so I do, before I start closing, I don't know, um, I should go over the prices with you. The Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette um, retails at $45. Now I don't know if it will be available to everybody or just um, BoxyCharm because I do know that Cover FX and BoxyCharm collaborated on this palette. So I'm not sure if it's going to be limited or what have you. Um, the Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask was $34 retail. The Moda Brushes is $29.99 retail. The Ofra lipstick is $20 retail and the Appeal Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow was $21 um, retail. So I did get variation number one. Um, last month I think I got variation number three. So 79 plus 30 is 109. And then plus 20 is 129 plus 21. So my box was 150. Um, and again, it was $21. I do think BoxyCharm is a great um, value for what you get. And I have other reasons for canceling. But like again, I said, I will post a video on that. So anyways, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to like comment, subscribe, and share, and always be kind to one another, you guys. You have no idea what another person is going through, and when you're kind to people, you're going to generate that back to you, and what comes around and goes around, and there's a lot of really sour people out there, and I have no idea why. So, have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye.